High quality photos are so important to the success of your online store. You want to make sure they are sized correctly so the proportions look right and you find a good balance between high quality and fast speed. In this video, I'll show you how to add and resize your photos for your WooCommerce products. All right, so the first thing you want to do is start out with some really high quality photos of your product. Now, ideally, if you hired a photographer to come in and take product photos, that's going to be great. If you can't do a photographer quite yet, make sure that you're taking high resolution pictures of your products and you're taking multiple pictures of your products with good lighting from different angles. It's really important that you're starting off with large high resolution pictures because if they're not, if they're too small, they're going to stretch in WooCommerce and they're going to look really bad. They're going to look pixelated and they're going to look blurry. So start off with big high quality photos. Since I don't actually have an online store, I'm just showing you guys how to do this. I'm on Unsplash, one of my favorite stock photography sites, and I'm just going to go ahead and download these three dinosaur uh, pictures and we're going to use them in this tutorial. So after you've taken your original photos, we're going to head on over to Canva and we're going to make sure they're sized properly for your online store. So you do only need a free account for this. I will link Canva in the description. And then after you're signed in, click the create a design button and then click custom size. Now at minimum here, you're going to want an 800 width and that's in pixels. So PX should be selected here. Now the 800 width is good for if it's a very simple product and people don't need to zoom in and see details or anything. If you want people to be able to zoom in on your product images, you want to do 2000 here. Now keep in mind here how WooCommerce does their sizing. On the main product page, it's not cropped. So you could have a 2000 width and a 500 height and it's fine, but your thumbnails are by default square. So if it's 2000 wide and 500 height, it's not square. So when it shrinks to a square, it's going to look weird. So to keep things simple, I just usually keep all my product images as a square. So if we're doing 2000 pixels wide, we also want to do 2000 pixels high and then click create new design. Okay. So here we are with our big square in Canva. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to import our photos. Uh, for me, mine are right here in download. So I'm just going to drag them in this area and all of my dinosaurs right in there. And of course, if you have your images in another folder, just drag them from the folder to that area and they're going to automatically upload. Then go ahead and drag your first image into the area. And you're going to see here that it automatically cropped it into that proportional square. If you want to adjust how this is in the square, if you don't like the placement, you could click in it and you can click this crop button and then you can move it around. So whatever showing in the box is what you want to show in the box and then hit done here. And that's it. That's all the editing we have to do. And then we are going to save it. So you're going to click download and for the file type, I could talk about this a lot, but to keep things very simple, if you have a photo, like you have a photograph, this is a photograph, you're going to want to put it as a JPEG. If it's more of a cartoon looking image, you can do a PNG, but since this is a photograph and you probably have a photograph, go ahead and do a JPEG. And then if you have premium, you can change the uh, quality, but it's no biggie if you don't, cause I'm gonna show you how to uh, do that in just a second. I'm gonna show you how to make it a smaller size because we want your website to load as fast as possible while still having the image look good. So go ahead and click the download button. And after it's downloaded, we're gonna go over to this website called 
tiny JPG. And I will link this in the description. Um, here you can make a couple different kinds of images, smaller, particularly JPG or PNG. And it is very, very easy. Just go ahead and drag the image. Remember, this is the edited image that we just did in the square in Canva and drag it there. And you'll see that this made the image almost half the size. So then go ahead and click the download button and that's it. You're done with your first image. You might want to rename that so um, it makes sense to you what it is. And go ahead and repeat that for all your product images and uh, then we're going to get it on the site. Okay, so go ahead and sign in to your WordPress dashboard and if you already have a product, you can edit it. If you don't, you can go to products, add new, give your product a name. And from here, scroll down all the way till you see product image and product gallery on the right hand side of the page. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but your product image is going to be the main image for the product. It's the first image you're gonna see on the single product page, and it's going to be the image that is used for the thumbnails. To set that, just click set product image, go to upload files, and then select the file that you just edited on Canva, and then hit open and then it will automatically show up in your media library. It should already be selected. From here, you could change the title and you can also leave some alt text here for accessibility and SEO. And then click set product image. Next, let's add the rest of those photos as additional photos in the product gallery. So go ahead and click add product gallery images, go to upload files, and then select the rest of the files you just modified. Again, they should both already be selected. You can choose between the two of them to change the title and the alt text. And then when you're done, you can click add to gallery. Once that's done, scroll up, hit publish, and then go ahead and view your product. And here we go. Your product images are all there. When you zoom in, they're nice and clear, but the page still loads quickly. And you can click to go between the different photos so your customers can view your product from all different angles. So there is just one more thing I wanna show you. Like I said, by default, WooCommerce and most of the themes are just a square for the uh, product images and for the thumbnails. If you wanna change that, you can change that. And to do that, you can go back to the dashboard and then go to Appearance, Customize, WooCommerce, and then Product Images. And from here, you can change the main image width which is gonna be the main image width on the single product page. And you can also change the thumbnail width. Now notice the height isn't here. The height will adjust automatically um, to match the width. For the main image on the main product page, it will adjust to keep it proportional. And for the thumbnail, it will adjust to match whatever you choose here for thumbnail cropping. If you choose one to one, it will be cropped into a square you can also do a custom aspect ratio, or you can do um, no cropped using the aspect ratio which they were uploaded. And that's it. That's everything you should need to know about your WooCommerce product images. If you have any additional questions, feel free to comment below. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're making your own website, I do have a website roadmap which tells you exactly what to do from a professional web designer so you don't miss out on anything. You can get that for free in my description also. Thanks so much for watching.